Hey everyone. So we've been in our casita now for just about exactly a week. And uh, we've been getting some questions about what some of the modifications are that uh, you might want to make to your casita to make it a little bit more comfortable. So I'm going to walk you through some of the stuff that we've done to personalize the casita for our lifestyle. And um, I think there are all some good recommendations that you might want to consider if you're uh, new to a casita. So let's go through some of those things now. I think Bell agrees. So one of the first things that we did when we saw this being done by other casita owners was adding in these little drapery hooks and these hook into the carpet on the wall. So I'll show you some examples of that. One example here and they're really great if you want to hang some little containers off the wall. So here what I did is a little container for our remotes got one over here on Dave's side as well, so he keeps his iPods in there and some other remotes and any other kind of like little knickknacks. We also use them to hang just some customized artwork on the wall here. We also have one next to Dave's bed here so we can hang his glasses there at night. And we also added one next to the stove so we can hang some of the kitchen racks. So those are really handy. You can get them from Walmart or Home Depot and um, they cost about 98 cents for a bag of 14, so pretty inexpensive. If you've watched some of our other videos, you'll also know that one of the things that we did immediately was actually uh, change out the mattress. So the casita comes with cushions that look like this and we went and bought an 8 inch memory foam mattress from Walmart again fairly inexpensive around $245 for a queen size we took that queen size and chopped it in half and it turns out that it's exactly the same size as the cushions that come with the casito all we had to do was shave off the end here just for the rounded corner so if I take one of the corners off here of the pudding. You can see the foam mattress there topped by the memory foam. So it's made it quite a bit more comfortable for us. The reason that we've actually kept the original Casita foam mats is just because we're on the road right now. Um, so we needed somewhere to put them. They're pretty long, so we weren't able to store them in the Forerunner. So we're just going to leave them on the bed until we get back into Ontario, and then we'll take them off and just leave the uh, memory foam on the bed. So earlier I mentioned that we added some hooks to the wall for the drying cloths. You will notice that the casita comes standard with this hanging rod on the stove. But what we found, and it's a bit of a problem, is if you're hanging your towels here, it's really hard to get into this drawer, this top drawer. The rags are always kind of in the way. So we found it's better just to have them hanging up there, the stove here. We haven't done much in the bathroom aside from hang some command hooks on a few of the walls. This side, I'm not sure if I can quite capture it on camera here. On this side, as well as near the door. We just find that if it's raining outside, it's nice to have a few extra places to hang towels and wet bathing suits. And generally we're just using these hooks when, uh, when there is a wet day outside. Casita does include two hooks standard on the door, on the back of the door. Those work okay, but I do find that this hook on this side, if you're hanging a big bulky towel, it means that the door doesn't always close as easily. The towel tends to get in the way. So that's why we've added some extra hooks on here. The other thing that we've done is make some minor modifications to our storage in our pantry closet here. So we actually found this, uh, this hanging rack, so it just hangs off the clothes hanger. And it's given us some little shelves. We were able to get these little um, lightweight fabric bins from Ikea that sit perfectly inside of the shelf. We had originally started um, actually, before we got the trailer, we bought a longer hanging rack and it actually hung all the way down to the bottom here. But uh, we quickly stopped using that because we found that um, it was really hard to access anything else that we had in the closet. 
and it is a pretty big space in there, so you definitely want to still have access to the back. You see in the closet here, we've also hung a few winter coats and sweaters, stuff for the colder weather once we get up to Canada. We're still kind of trying to look for something to use on the bottom of the closet for some extra storage, but uh, for now this is doing the trick. So you may have also noticed if you watched some of our earlier videos that we've been using this electric induction cooktop for most of our cooking. We actually haven't used the propane yet and the reason for that is it's just so hot where we're staying we don't really want to cook inside the trailer right now. So we've just been uh, taking this guy outside plugging in. It's very lightweight. We got that from Costco and uh, it's been perfect for cooking all of our meals so definitely recommend getting one of those if you're going to be somewhere that has uh, that has power. If not, of course, you've got your propane cook stove here. So another thing that we did, which isn't really a customization, but just something that we found really useful. So we got this folding table from Costco again, and you can adjust it to three different heights, but it's been really great for cooking outside, which is what we use it for primarily, but it's also good if you've got uh, lots of stuff to unpack into the trailer. You can use it as a bit of a drop center for all of your supplies and materials because um, of course there's not a lot of counter space in the casita itself. So that's been really great and it stores really well between the two beds when you're, uh, when you're on the roll. And of course folding chairs, this has been really key for us as well and those fit right next to the table next to the beds inside the, uh, the casita. We'd also recommend buying these uh, leveling pads, these orange pads. We use them for the uh, scissor jacks at the back. We also use them for the awning feet. And we also use them in the front of the trailer. Um, as well as if we have an unlevel site, they are great for that. So that's been a really good feature. Highly recommend buying those. They come in a pack of about 10 or 12. So that's all for the tips that we have so far, but we've still got another two weeks of camping in the casita before we head back to Canada. So as we have more tips, we'll be sure to share them. And if you have any tips, please leave a comment.